This video shows you the steps to use Microsoft Remote Desktop Connection to access a remote computer. For example, you are away from home with your laptop PC and need to access your home PC. With this function, once you have logged in, you will see the desktop of the remote PC on your local PC, and it will be as if you are sitting in front of your remote PC, although you may be anywhere else in the world with a, an internet connection. In this case, your laptop PC is the local PC, and your home PC is the remote PC, which can be directly connected to the internet or with the router connect to internet. Since remote desktop connection is a Windows built-in function, you don't need additional software, only need to follow the steps to complete the configuration. The steps to use remote desktop connection include 1. Enable remote desktop connection on the remote PC. 2. Config the router for the remote PC. However, if your PC is directly connected to the internet, you can skip this step. The third is run remote desktop connection on the local PC. And the fourth and the also the last one is update the IP address of your remote PC. Step one is enable remote desktop connection on the remote PC. Uh, click the start button and uh, select the this PC or some called my computer. Right click this one and select the properties. In this window, select the remote settings. In this remote setting, there is a remote desktop. There are two options. Don't allow the remote connection to this computer. And select this one, allow the remote connection to this computer. Then click apply. That finishes the step one. Please note, only following Windows versions support the remote desktop connection. Include Windows 8, 8.1 Pro Enterprise, Windows 7 Pro Enterprise Ultimate, Vista Business Ultimate Enterprise, and XP Professional. Step 2 is configuring router for the remote PC if you use one. The purpose is forwarding TCP port 3389 to the LAN IP address of your remote PC. So first log into the router. We need to take care of the LAN IP address of the remote PC. So look at the uh, DC, DHCP server setting. We should enable the DHCP reservation. Click on this one. And uh, I found uh, this is my remote computer. The IP address is 101. So I select this one, add this client into reservation. And uh, you can see this 101 is on reservation. Save the setting. Okay, now this IP address will not change over time. Then look at the application and the gaming. Here is the single port forwarding. So here we add a new one remote desktop connection and the port 3389 3389 uh, we can use both TCP and uh, 
UDP. And the IP address is 101. We enable it. And then save the setting. Okay, now it's uh, add port forwarding is completed. This is the end of step two. Step three is run remote desktop connection on the local PC. Click on the start button and uh, key in MSTSC and uh, select uh, this program. It asks you for compute name. You can here enter your remote desktop PC IP address. How to get IP address, I will show you in the step four. Then click connection. Here you can enter your username and password. Then click OK to log into your remote desktop. After log in, you can see the desktop of your remote PC as if you are sitting in front of your remote PC. Everything will work. This is the end of step 3. The step 4 is update the IP address of your remote PC. The IP addresses that most people and the small businesses are provided by their internet service providers are dynamical. That is, the IP addresses assigned to a given client is not fixed and may be changed at any moment. Once such a change occurs, it will no longer be possible to connect this remote PC. You need a service to update the IP address for you. You can use email my IP email my IP dot info. On your remote PC to start the service you need to enter your email address which will be used to send your notice whenever your IP address changes. And set a password. And give your device a name, say it's your home PC. Okay, the service is running. You can leave this page open and uh, the service will check your IP address every five minutes. Whenever it detects the IP address change and uh, it will send you email. Uh, that's the end of this video.